We'd work on backing tracks in the studio and build them up, but not actually know what was going to happen to the song. So it was always a question of sort of waiting until Brian came in to sort of sing over the top of it. And when we did Lovers of the Drug, uh, that was actually one of Andy's songs. And I think it was sort of penciled as a bit of a B-side, really. I don't know. It was, you know. But um, Brian came in and sang over it one night. We did, literally, we did one run through and we did one proper take. And um, from that, basically edited the, the vocal between the, those two things, between the run through. Well, the run through, we, we took the run through. And then the sort of like the first proper take. And I mean, it was just obvious. It was just like, it was a single, you know. And even Brian wasn't aware, you know, because I remember when I mentioned it, I said, like, I said, that's it. I said, that's the single. He said, no, no, no. He said, both ends burning is the single. <laughs> I think his memory's playing tricks. I have no, no memory of that at all. Um, God bless him. No, it's, uh, I guess most of the time I'd, I'd be a kind of a writer who worked on his own. But on each Foxy album I started um, doing some co-writes with Phil Manzanera and Andy Mackay. Um, and that was, Love is a Drug is one that Andy Mackay kind of came to me with a kind of chord sequence and, um, which was I thought was really interesting it was really good and when he first played to me it was very slow like a ballad or something and, and I I thought well this would be good if we added a bit of a bit of life to it a bit of, a bit of a groove as it were and uh, um, it's a great bass line by uh, John Gustafsson and it, it turned into something I made the, the, the song a bit of a kind of uh, a story, you know, that somebody that goes out on the street and, you know, and it's like, it had a little bit of an adventure to it, a bit of a kind of narrative and uh, it seemed to work really well. Uh, it was fun doing the, the intro section with uh, various car doors slamming and uh, finding the right sports car engine. And, of this, of our hero who goes off into, walks down to the gravel and gets into his car and drives off into town and uh, to his nightclub adventure. It became, you know, one of the classic Roxy tracks. I went away and um, I did a, a solo tour, uh, which was quite a long tour, which took me you know, like around the world. And I ended up staying in, in LA for a long time. And I guess I was away for about a year. And so, in a sense, the band sort of drifted apart. Uh, Let's Stick Together was was a song uh, I'd, I really liked the original version, which was a fantastic R&B classic, really, by Wilbert Harrison, who wrote the song. And um, I just thought, well, maybe this is one I can do. And it's great because it has a horn section that plays one note throughout the whole, <laughs> throughout the whole song, you know. So it's quite, it's, it was quite easy to cut. <laughs> and a um, great sax solo by uh, Chris Mercer, I remember. And uh, Jerry Hall has this cameo appearance, which for the video was wonderful. You know, it was a great, uh, it was a great visual thing. And uh, I got a chance to play my harmonica. So I was quids in, really. <laughs> <laughs>